Hello there everybody and welcome to episode 1 of a fresh new little mini series I'm doing on my channel called Where to Start as I have my guest star Lucy next to me sitting at the couch licking things and she's being a gross dog today but she's just being a dog so if, she, if she's being, if she's licking stuff in the background you're going to have to deal with it. Lucy leave that alone honey. I just put aquifer on it. This series is about video games that take place or video game series I should say not just video games but like story story driven games more specifically and franchises and storylines that have titles that take place before like the first game that came out or or like maybe it's more like of a gameplay sense which one you should start with first which one has like you know the best experience in the game for but for today's episode um it's mostly just about timeline order and story um so i think this is like the perfect series to kind of start with this kind of series because this is the franchise that has many different games and many different talent points all over the place like what happens and uh my dog just i'm sorry she has some i'm sure she'll stop soon but she has really bad allergies so today's series um will be about the metal gear franchise or metal gear solid but it's technically the metal gear franchise because some of you out, may, out, out there may not know that this game right here is not the first game in the series that was ever made there's two more before it that came out on well there's one alternative on the nes uh which is still technically so there's three Kind of, maybe before it. Um, they're, they're released on a Japanese hardware system called the MSX2, I think. It's like a Japanese computer of some sort. And they were titled Metal, Metal Gear 1 and Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. It's just called Metal Gear, not Metal Gear 1. But they, they, they take, they're, you play a Solid Snake in both of those games and they take place before this one. This is technically Metal Gear 3. Metal Gear Solid Set is technically Metal Gear 3. So. There's that. So, okay, so this series, this story, this series, this franchise, um, or this video is gonna be about where you should start for Metal Gear. So, here we go. Okay, so, if you wanna start playing the Metal Gear Solid games, or the Metal Gear games in general, there are three games that I would choose from to pick, because there's like a total, I think, of, tw of like 15 or more games in like the whole series. Um, but like four of those games, four to five of them, all take place before the first Metal Gear, I think. Yeah, yeah, four to five of them do. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 5 is like two games, but it's not, so that's why I say four to five, but... So, okay, let me let me explain and get into this. Okay, so first of all, I should tell you guys, which in case of you are not familiar with Metal Gear Solid at all, one of the very first, first things that should be mentioned to people who don't know anything about Metal Gear Solid is that, uh, Metal Gear Solid's timeline, again, it jumps around, okay? Metal Gear Solid 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. There's five Metal Gear Solid games. But there's more than just five, like, Metal Gear Solid games. There's, like, there's Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker, there's Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops, there's Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, and there's Metal Gear, um... I don't know, there's the ones on the PlayStation Portable, I forgot what they were called. Uh, there's the Game Boy Metal Gear. There's a lot of Metal Gear games, but there's only like, I think a total of maybe eight that, or nine, or maybe even ten, that you should play. I don't know. Uh, oh, I think it's more like, yeah, eight. A total of eight, I think. Oh, that's not eight. It's six. I can't count. A total of eight Metal Gear games, I believe, that you should play. Uh, if you want to experience its story. Wait, no, yeah, nine. I forgot about Rising of Vengeance. Nine. There's nine I think you should play. So. Where should you start? Okay, so, first of all, I'll be right back. Okay, before we talk about software, like the video games that were developed, that were made, that were designed, we should talk, we should talk about hardware first. Uh, there's one console, one hardware, that you can play every single Metal Gear game ever made, except for like the, the uh, except for the ones on handhelds, which they're not relevant. Except for one, which is, and you can play it on this machine as well, is this game right here, is this console right here. The PlayStation 3, you have to have one of these if you want to play like the whole series. But you, you need, you definitely need a PlayStation, or at least a computer, I think, if you want to, uh, or, yeah, or a PC, if you want to play the first Metal Gear Solid, you need a PS3, or a PS2, or a PS1. Because Metal Gear Solid is a PlayStation 1 game, and it will play on it will play it will play it will play on the PlayStation 1, 2, and 3. It will. Play all PlayStation 3s can play PS1 games. Same thing with all PS2s. 
but only the this PS3 can play PS2 games. The original fat, like, it has to have four USB ports on the front down down here too, I believe. Like right, uh, oh, that seems heavy. Like right here, right here, and uh, only only this one will, will play PS2 games. But you don't really need to play the PS2 Metal Gear Solid games because they are released. They're, they're they were re-released on HD collection along with Peace Walker. That's the one portable Metal Gear Solid game that is required to play for the, for the timeline. Okay, so the, again, there's a lot I'm already kind of telling you at once without even explaining things slowly. I'm sorry, but this series. It's a little comp. Maybe you kind of get the gist of it, and if you did, good because I hope you would. So, okay, so um, let me kind of slow down a little bit. Okay, so again, every single game is playable on the PS3. I have every single Metal Gear Solid game for the PS3. I have the Legacy Collection. I have Metal Gear Solid Five, and I have Metal Gear Solid Rising of Vengeance. That's every single Metal Gear Solid game on the PS3 that, that you need. I'm, I'm not joking. It, it's everything. The, the Legacy Collection has every single game I set of 5 and Rising of Vengeance. It's all of them. Except for Rising of Vengeance and Metal Gear Solid 5. Which, Metal Gear Solid 5, in case you didn't know this, is on the PS3. I think it's I think it's also on the Xbox 360, but I don't know for sure. But it kind of surprises me that it's on the PS3 because... Actually, the time I first, first heard, saw the game, my, one of my old college uh, friends... He's not, he wasn't really my friend at all, but he, he was obsessed with Metal Gear Solid 5. And he had it for the PS3, I remember that. But, um, so that's kind of how I knew about it. But, so where would I start? Okay, there's one game I would highly recommend when you start. But we'll get into, like, the three you should choose from. So, there's three tells that, that you should choose from if you want to play Metal Gear, the, the Metal Gear story. There's the original 1980, I don't know what year it came out in, but the 1980s Metal Gear game uh, that, it, that comes with this. This is a custom. This is this is a custom box art. This is not the official box art of the game, of the Metal Gear Solid Legacy Collection. Oh, 1987 to oh, that's years of when the games. No wait, yeah, 1987 to 2012. I think that's when the games came out versus the timeline. Yeah, yeah, when the games came out. So the first Metal Gear game came out in 1987, but I think it takes place in the 1990s, early 90s maybe, because I know Metal Gear Solid 5, which is which Metal Gear Solid 5 takes place before the first Metal Gear. Oh my god. I know. I know. Much like Zelda, Zelda's kinda like that too, which we'll get, I will get into that when I make a Zelda video if I do. But, um, for this guy, the Legacy Collection, it has this on here. This disc right here has like all of the Metal Gear games on it, except for uh, Metal Gear Solid 4, and Metal Gear Solid 1, which is, which, which is, it comes with Metal Gear Solid 1 digitally. So if you buy this game used, like on a GameStop or something, or online, and you get, uh, this right here, this piece of paper right here, this, these, uh, QR codes here. Now, mine are used, so if you try using them, I don't think they'll work, but it comes with Metal Gear Solid, the original, and Metal Gear Solid, uh, Virtual Missions. So... Yeah, it comes with the games digitally, but this code needs to work if you get this game. Or you can just go on the PS3 and go buy. You don't need you don't need virtual missions. It's not story. It's not kid. It's just it's just like a side game that has like a that has like 300 missions to play, but there's no story at all. You just have fun with that game. It's not like a story driven Metal Gear Solid game. Uh, you can just go to the PlayStation Store, and the first Metal Gear Solid is ten dollars. You know, d uh, digitally. Or if you want it, you don't even have to do that. If you want a physical copy of the game, it's like 15 bucks to buy this. This game is, is very affordable, which is super awesome because I love this game to death. I'm glad it is. Or you could get it with the Essentials Collection, which has Metal Gear Solid 1, 2, and 3 on here, uh, which was released for the PS2. This is a little more, this is obviously more expensive. It was like, I think this is like, this is like 30 to 50 dollars to pick up. Not too bad, not pretty expensive, but not, not terribly. Those are the three ways you can play Metal Gear Solid 1 on PlayStation. You can also, I think, download. You can just download on the PC. It's not on Steam. It's not on Steam. It's not on any like, like PC launcher. You could like run it through like an emulator. Um, same kind of idea. That's how you can play MGS One. It's on an Xbox. Oh, oh, there's there's one more option too. Uh, if you have a Nintendo GameCube, there's a, there's a remake of it called Metal Gear Solid. The Metal Gear Solid. The the. I'm sorry. I keep starting. Blah, blah. Metal Gear Solid. The Twin Snakes. It's like it it, it 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 has updated graphics. The visuals look like Metal Gear Solid 2 or 3 more so, but it's more like the game's like 
storytelling is really different. Like, the, the presentation, I should say. The presentation of storytelling is different compared to, to the original game. It's way more animated, and it's not directed by the game's, like, you know, uh, head leader or director. Uh, I, can't, I can't believe it. I have a starting shirt now. I'm sorry. I can't help myself. I'm sorry. Hideo Kojima. He did not direct the remake from Metal Solid, The Twin Sinks. He produced it, but he did not direct it. I don't, I don't know who directed it, but he didn't do it. You could you could play that one. I'm, I I have on I I used to have it on my Wii U. Uh, on I used to have I had to Wii U, which I used to have a Wii U also, and I don't. But I want to get one again. I will I will put it back on there and play it again. I I also want to actually own that game on the GameCube. I will one day, for sure. But um, yeah, Metal Gear Solid um, the Twin Snakes remake is a pretty great game. So or not great game. I haven't really played much of it. I, this one I play. This one's fantastic. But oh shit. But you could play that one. So, sorry. Anyways, so that's how you can play Metal Gear Solid 1. You can play it on the PC, you can play it on the PlayStation 1, 2, and 3, which, you know, on the 3, you can have it digitally, you don't, you don't need it physically. Uh, but if you pick it up physically, it's very affordable. And you can play it um, on, the, uh, game, on, on the on the Nintendo GameCube as well. Right, and on the, did, I, did I mention PC? I don't know if I did, but yeah, you can also play it on the, on the PC. So, there's that from Metal Gear Solid 1, okay? So, okay, so, I'm sorry, did I already mention that, that, yeah, I was talking about this, okay, so let's go back to this really quick, okay, so this has, um, the first two Metal Gear Solid, the first two Metal Gear games on it, Metal Gear and Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake, which Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake takes place before Metal Gear Solid, which is Metal Gear, which is Metal Gear 3, technically, I already mentioned that, so, Keep up, okay, a little bit. But these games, timeline-wise, take place after, f like, f five other games. Yes, the original Metal Gear you, it takes place after five other games. Now, you don't have to play these games in timeline order. You don't have to. No one ever said you did. You can play these games by year of release. You could. And if you do, that, you'll be okay. You just have to... If You don't even have to really be, like, be into the story to, like, enjoy these games. Because they have really good gameplay. Like, the games, they play well. They're just... They're good... They're good, genuine, fun games, but and besides, like the really important, like emotional moments of the games are pretty, like you know, obviously those are things you want to forget. Um, you'll be fine, like trust me. Like even if you don't do a good job at following stories, um, pace yourself a little bit because there's one game that I would recommend playing first if you uh, aren't very good at like following like you know heavy stories. Um, so that's one for sure. And not only that. You should tag the play, play, play this one first for, for the sake of timeline too, which is this is what I recommend. Which if you know the series, you probably already know which one it's going to be because I said for the sake of timeline, it's the very beginning in timeline order, which that's the first one I played, and the very first Metal Gear Solid game that takes place timeline order, which is 1964 I think, is the first Metal Gear Solid game that I have played and I loved it, and I'll get into why I recommend this one a little bit. So okay, so there's that one. Now I would also re recommend uh, not. Uh, okay, so this original first Metal Gear, which is like, it's like, an, if you play like Super Mario Brothers, The Legend of Zelda, you know, like like the, the very original Mega Man games, Castlevania, and NES games basically, Nintendo Entertainment System video games. Metal Gear Solid is no, or, or Metal Gear 1, Metal Gear 1 is no, is no exception. It is very, uh, you know, old school, you know, game, gameplay wise. It's very, like, archaic at times. It's very... Like, uh, it's a little bit cryptic too, like, I haven't played much of it, but I, I, I got like five minutes into it and I got stuck like right away. I'm like, what do I do now? Like, I didn't know what the fuck to do. It's definitely a guide game. You need a guide if you play Metal Gear 1, because you will get lost a lot and it's not very easy to follow up what to do. I haven't played Metal Gear 2 though, Metal Gear 2 Slide Sync, I've not played that one. Uh, but I've heard many good things about it and I've heard it's very much like Metal Gear Solid 1. It has a lot of, you know... You know, it, it, it births a lot of what Metal Gear Solid follows, which is like, that's pretty awesome because I love this game. So this is, the, okay, so aside from Metal Gear 1, the original, this one I would definitely recommend starting with. Um, because this is a this is a fantastic game, but it, its story is a little bit heavy. Um, and it's, its gameplay is a little, it's not, you know, as data as the original Metal Gear, obviously. I mean, it's, I mean, it's a PS1 game, you know, and... Much like other now fifth generation games in general, like PS1, Nintendo 64, Sega Saturn games, which yeah, that's fifth generation. And, and NES and Sega Master System, that's third generation. 
they are both kind of dated from what they are. Uh, because you know, this, this is the start of 3D gaming, so there's some assets in this game that definitely don't hold as well as like you know six generation games would. So you know if you play like Spyro the Dragon, Crash Bandicoot, Mario 64, uh, Zelda: Ocarina of Time, you know uh, Banjo Kazooie. Well, Banjo Kazooie is not too dated. Um, but still, you get my point. Like, it feels like it's right in that era. It feels like right at home with, like, that era if you've never played this game before. And, um, that, it, 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 it this game reminded me of Ocarina of Time a little bit when I first started, because I'm like, this game is just as big as Ocarina of Time, and there's things to do, and it, kind of like Ocarina of Time, there's, like, puzzles to figure out. Um, you know, it, you know, I, 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 but it's not like it. It's its own thing, but it just reminded me of it quite a bit. So, besides Metal Gear 1, I would... I highly recommend just picking up this game and fucking just just get into it. This is actually I actually was gonna play this game first when I first bought PlayStation, but I thought no. You know what? I wanna start with this one set, and I'm glad I did. Now this game is a big fucking deal to me. And I love this game. And this is the one I would I would recommend playing first. But not the version I'm gonna show you, which might confuse you, but this classic right here, guys. Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. Snake Eater. Did I say sick ether? I'm sorry. I haven't had breakfast yet. It's like 9.30 right now in the morning. But I, all, all I've had was this. This little, this little smooth, uh, smooth bucha. Smooth, smooth bucha shake thing. But Metal Gear Solid 3, guys. This game is a fucking classic of a game. I love this game to death. You know, Metal Gear Solid 3 sick eater? Holy shit. Like, I love this game. So, this was the first Metal Gear Solid game that I ever played. But I played it on here. On, on the Legacy Collection, um, and I'm glad I did. Uh, it takes place in 19, 1964, like I mentioned before, and you play not as Solid Snake, but as his father, Big Boss, Naked Snake, Jack, as he's known as. Um, not big. He's not. He's not known as Big Boss yet in this game, but yeah. And I was Okay, everyone, sorry if uh, there seems to be a bit of a strange cut here because I had to take a break from the video to eat and kind of, you know, get myself a bit of situation for the day. I was really drowsy and tired earlier, which is probably if my voice and my... If I seem a little bit off from the video, it was probably why. But anyways, let's talk a little bit about this gem of a game. Snake Eater, excuse me. Um, this one I highly recommend to start with. If you've never played Metal Gear Solid before, I either get a PS2, a PS3, an Xbox 360, or maybe even an Xbox One. I think. Yeah, I don't know if it's playable on Xbox One via do backwards compatibility of the HD collection of Metal Gear Solid, uh, which comes with Metal Gear Solid Sink Eater, uh, two, is Metal Gear Solid 3 Sink Eater, Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Li or no, Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker, and Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty. That's what it is in timeline order, and that's what they show you when you boot up the game in that order, like, kind of like that. But, um, obviously, I'll put, I'll put footage up in the video so you can, you can get a visual representation of what I'm talking about when I'm explaining and stuff. But, if you're new to the franchise, and you've never played a Metal Gear Solid before game, and if you're somebody who's like, who's, who like, who, who can get easily confused when it comes to big storytelling, it's alright, like, don't worry, you know, you're not stupid or anything, it's not like that, it's just, you know, big storytelling just, it kind of isn't for everybody, um, and that's fine, like, I, I'm not saying I, it's a walk in the park for me to, like, understand what happens in Metal Gear Solid all the time, but I, I, it's not that difficult to get a gist of what's going on anyways, like, you know, I, I because I'm listening to all these code of calls in the first game, and I'm just kind of, I find it to be very interesting and intriguing, I just have, like, I, I kind of connect the dots pretty well with, with things that come to stories, but not everyone's like that, and that's okay, that's fine, um, if you're not quite like that, but, um, I would recommend with this game first, because the story is not as big and complex as later Metal Gear Solid games, it still has a pretty big story, and it still has like it has some it has some very emotional things that happen, and some like pretty like big like shocking things maybe. But they kind of get it out of the way when you first start the game, because okay, so you play as Jack as I mentioned, and just saying, just saying Big Boss's name, like Jack, is kind of makes me feel emotional because he's like such a human. Like I I know that's a weird thing to say, but like Snake and Liquid are clones of him, and they kind of make it a pair in a way because. This guy is a soldier, but he's a he, he's a human being first. He has a heart of gold. He does. Like Jack, Big Boss, Naked Snake, is a good guy. He is. He he may be the main villain of the Metal Gear storyline, but he really isn't a villain. It, it's not really his fault, I think, entirely. Why like some? It kind of is his fault. I don't know, but like because I've seen the ending of Metal Gear Solid Four, 
and the the major like the one who kind of like started everything to go like wrong is is uh, Naked Snake's commander Zero. I think he's kind of like the big bad guy in a way, but not really. Um, now, okay, I don't know the whole story of Younger Solid, but I know it has a very tragic ending for Big Boss in, in Solid Snake. Like, they have like a really like they have like a moment before he he passes on. Which I'm sorry for spoilers. I should have mentioned I'm gonna give us some some spoilers um, here and there throughout this video. Um, I'm sorry. In case you haven't noticed already, I'm going to mention a lot about these games. You know, the only game I probably will not be spoiling mostly is Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty, because I haven't played much of it. I, I haven't played the game at all, yet, actually. I have not played it at all. I own it twice. I own it right here on the PS2. I own it right here. And I own it right here on the Legacy Collection, and I haven't played it yet. That's that's Big Boss in the back right there, by the way. That's, I, th I believe, him and Metal Gear Solid 4, I think, at the end. Or, no, maybe not, but... The reason why, okay, this custom box art, it's its him, it's not Naked Sink, it is Naked Sink, I'm sorry, it's not Solid Sink, it's Naked Sink, because it's really his story. It's kind of like, it's kind of like Star Wars, how like the first six movies are like technically Anakin's story than it is Luke's story, because it is also Luke's story, but it's kind of like that. It's kind of exactly like that, actually, but Darth Vader, I think he was, you know, he was feared. You know, people were so terrified of him. Big Boss is beloved. His, his 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 comrades, his soldiers, they love him. They respect him. They admire him. They want the best for him. They like fight for him. That's why I think he's such a good guy. Because like, the people who work for Big Boss are not afraid of him. They absolutely fucking adore him. They love him. They think the best of him. And it's like it's like this like deep relationship they have, like a friendship and honor and respect and love. And it's just like it makes me so sad that like that the boss dies and everything. It's just like, oh my god, like this series will really, it'll, it'll make you cry here and there. I, I think it will, because it is about war, it is about soldiers, it's about all that stuff, and it is fictional history, technically, yes, but it is so well written. And Hideo Kojima, he did, he did a great job writing this story, like he did, in my opinion. I've only played three Metal Gear games, guys, or four, or five. I've only beaten one of them. I've only beaten one Metal Gear Solid game. Uh, which is Snake Eater, this one, and I, but I even not this version, the, the PS3 HD version, and I absolutely love that game. I absolutely, do. I love the series, and I've technically beaten Peace Walker, but not really. Uh, for those of you who do not know about Peace Walker, um, there there are requirements to get the final mission of the game that you have to do that I didn't know about. I didn't know how much I had to end up doing, and it makes me kind of not want to keep playing it because I'm like I have to do so much just to get to the final mission. And Peace Walker. I did all the Zeranoff missions. We needed to find Zeranoff. I did all six of those. And I, there's so much more stuff to do. I had to get Metal Gear pieces. Because, well, Peace Walker, which takes place after Snake Eater, shows you the first Metal Gear in the series. Metal Gears are like these giant walking tank machines. They're, they're, that, that are like, they're, like, they're like walking machines of destruction. That's what they basically are. And they're, they're like, they launch nukes and do other crazy things, I think. And the first one ever made is technically designed by Big Boss and his and his uh, his established um, uh, his established uh, you know base. Yeah, there you go. Outer Outer Heaven. Even with his men and his team and everything. Um, and it's called the first Metal Gear ever is called Metal Gear Zeke, and they design it. And what ends up happening in the end of the game is that I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say too much, but like it basically gets controlled by somebody. It, and I've heard it's quite worth like seeing that I'm playing that final boss. And I, I believe, I believe you. If you're someone who's like, hey, I finished Peace Walker, and trust me, it's worth it. I, I trust you. But it also kind of isn't because like the requirements to get to that final boss, they just kind of suck. Like I, I might, I'm not, I'm not going to completely give up on Peace Walker because you know all I need to do with this is give, my, give myself a break. But like I was so pissed off when I saw what I had to do. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, if you play the HD version of Sonic Unleashed or Sonic of, or Sonic World Adventure on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, it's kind of similar. There's like, there's like a, you have to get like a certain amount of like collectibles to get to the final boss and the final, like, you know, levels of that game. And it's kind of like that for this game. And I'm just like, but, but, but for Peace Walker, there's so much more like shit you have to do. And it really is irritating me because I'm like, I play this whole game. You know, it's like, it's like I had to play like, you know, and I had to go back and do so much and I had to do so, oh my god, I want to get my rank up and everything, but it's something for later, I don't know about it right now, so let's focus on Snake Eater. Okay, so, 
If you're gonna play Metal Gear Solid, like I said, I would first buy a PlayStation 3. I would start there. Or, but it depends on you and where you start. Or an Xbox 360. Um, because Snake Eater, which is the one I strongly, um, I strongly, 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 strongly recommend you start with. I wouldn't start with Solid as much. Solid, I would recommend actually either starting with this one or Snake Eater kind of equally. Oh, we're, oh here it is. Like, the, oh, that, that's two. Sorry, okay. So, these two games, I recommend that you start with equally. Metal Gear 1 1, like the original one that came out in 1987, that was on the NES and, and MSX2. Mm, not as strongly. Kind of. Uh, would, would I start there? Well, if you want to play these games in gameplay order, you know, if you want to see like the games evolve, like in terms of gameplay, th oh, that's okay with me. Fine. That, that, that makes sense. Sure. But it will, the story will really throw you off a little bit, unless if you don't mind the story jumping around, because like, for all we know, I mean, there's a lot of people out there who obviously watched the, the original Star Wars movies first, and then the prequels, but the prequels, they, they give away like what happens later on. Like, so, you know, that's not really a fair example, but like, you know, yeah, there's, there's people who've seen the original Planet of the Apes film, and then they saw the prequels next, which I've only seen, the, I've seen the prequels first, the, the War of the Planet of the Apes, the Rise of the Planet of the Apes movies, like, and Dawn, the Dawn was, the, I think, was the, the Rise of the first one. Those movies are fucking fantastic. I love the, the modern Planet of the Apes films. And, I, and then I saw the original one after I saw three of them, and I fell in love with it. So, and I thought that the, those four films fit so perfectly together. I was like, wow, like, damn, like, they do match, they do match up pretty, pretty well, in my opinion. Um... But yeah, so if you're somebody who just, who just is like, I'll, I'll understand the story no matter what happens, then you're fine. You can start with Metal Gear 1. Um, or if you're somebody who's like me, who just wants to play those games in time and order, go right ahead. But I wasn't prepared for Peace Walker and what it was going to contain. I, I kind of just want to skip it and play Metal Gear Solid 5, but it feels kind of weird doing it that way, because I'm like, no, because I won't really be able to see the true ending of Peace Walker. I still want to finish that first. What I'm personally doing on the side, while I'm trying to get through Peace Walker, is I'm playing this right now. And I'm gonna play two. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna play these, obviously, the originals, and then I'm gonna play four. I already have four, and then I'm gonna get play five on the on the PS4 later. But yeah, that's 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 what I'm doing on the side while I play through Peace Walker. I'm, I'm actually playing the series twice. I'm playing it through timeline order, and then I'm playing just the sol just the five solid games. That's it uh, on on the side. So my I but at the same time I already know the whole story. I've seen the whole story. I've watched like. I watched uh, Sun Calm and Johnny's reviews of these games. I've seen, I've seen all of his reviews of Metal Gear Solid, and I've also looked up, like you know, I look up information. I've, I I'm just doing my, my best to do research in the series because I really love this series. Like or, I'm starting to really love it. I'm I'm a new fan of Metal Gear Solid, and again, I didn't grow up with PlayStation. Uh, I don't I haven't mentioned this in the video yet, but my very first console. I've said this like on my other videos a thousand times already. My very first console ever was the Sega Genesis in 1990. Uh, 1998, and then 2002 or one, we got in a uh, we got a Nintendo GameCube, and then throughout my middle school and high school life, we had a Wii and Xbox 360. And my dad in 2009, I was in ninth or eighth grade, I think I was in ninth grade when this happened. I think it was when I, yeah, or it was in the summer before, but sometime in 2009, my dad bought me a Sega Genesis again. So I had a Sega Genesis with like only a few games a Wii and a 360 back when they were relevant throughout middle school and high school. And then right as soon as I got out of high school, like right as soon as that summer of high school, my dad gave me a debit card and I had a job and everything. I was able to get a PS3 and a, and a Dreamcast right away. And I got a backwards compatible Dreamcast right away, like immediately, a backwards compatible PS3 right away immediately. And I just got into the PlayStation because I, I didn't grow up with PlayStation. I really wanted to get into PlayStation. I had a little bit of it. I had a little bit of Nintendo, a little bit of Xbox, a little bit of Sega, but no PlayStation in my life. And, I'm, and my, the PS3 is my favorite PlayStation console. It is. I love all three of them. They're all, or all four of them. All four of them. They're all kind of similar, um, to be honest with you. But my absolute favorite one is either the PS1, which I'm, I'm, I'm really starting to appreciate the PS1 more so, or the PS3 because they're just so like great for what they are. As like gaming machines, they're they're pretty great for what they are. Um, okay, so this is pretty much almost. I'm almost at the end of my video. Uh, now, where I would not recommend to start from Metal Gear Solid, I would not recommend playing five or four first. I just wouldn't. I'm sorry because like just be, because of story reasons, I wouldn't. No, I just wouldn't start there. Absolutely not. I also would not recommend starting with two. 
uh, because it takes place after one, and it would, it would really throw you off if you did. Uh, plus, Metal Gear Solid One, it it explain it tells you on the title screen what happens in Metal Gear Solid uh, or, or Metal Gear One and Two, the original games. It, it gives you like a, it, it's called like a mission log, I think, like like you know basically a debriefing of what happens in those other games. So so you, you could read on it, or obviously with today's technology, you're watching some YouTube, you can look up videos of what happens in Metal Gear Solid. In fact. Unlike Shenmue, which I love that I love the franchise to death, Metal Gear Solid is a series you can just sit down, sit down and watch. You really could. You don't have to play these games, but it's a video game. I really would just recommend playing it. I, 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 absolutely. So guys, this is pretty much the end of my video. I've explained everything I need to and, and why I would play these games. Well, almost. For Sankey, there's a few things I have to mention. Um, if you're going to play the original PlayStation 2 version, it doesn't have a free camera. Uh, the original Mega Solid games, you know, 1 and 2, and then Solid 1, and Solid 2, and Solid 3 do not have free cameras, except for when Mega Solid 3 got re-released in HD collection. Now, the reason why it's important for this game is because you're, like, in a more open environment. You're, like, in a jungle in this game, hence the name Snake Eater. It's about naked snake, Jack, out in the wild, um, you know, fending for himself and stuff. Um, you know, he, 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 he... His, his mission, you know, requires him to be out in, in the jungle, and they explain why they begin the game. He's to find, like, it, it, it's basically about the Cold War and the Soviet Union doing something, like, basically bad to, to, to America, so he has to go and stop it. And he finds out that, again, slight spoilers, I'm sorry, but this is, like, in the very beginning of the game. Uh, he finds out that his mentor, the boss, who's, who's a female, she's, like, his mother, but not, like, his mother. She's also, like, his, his, his lover, but not, she's, like, his, like, closest, bestest, person. Not just friend, just his like bestest, closest person that he knows. They have like this really deep, beautiful care connection. And it's just sad seeing these two like in the situation that they're in. It made me cry a little bit. Like I don't know much about like like their history because you don't. You just see like you just see what's in front of your face value what they go through. But you know you can just tell when these two talk to each other that they have been through a lot. Just through their communication, just through their dialogue and it just made me a little bit emotional just seeing this. And Eventually, throughout the journey, she she's like, she's like, you know, uh, the boss is basically, what's the word? She's like, uh, she's she's basically a traitor to 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 America. She's basically, you know, labeled as a traitor. I would say labeled as one, but it turns out she wasn't one in the end. But she was, no, she wasn't. But it's there's this very deep and beautiful and com complicated meaning why. You, behind why she really wasn't a traitor. But Snake, Jack, ends up killing her in the end. But you find out that it's exactly how she planned it, but not not in an evil way. It's not like, oh, I planned it that way the whole time, Snake, or anything like that. No, it was more like, just in the, this is just the way, like, she just, she just kind of did. Like, you just have to play through this game and Peace Walker to fully understand what I mean, to fully see it for yourself. And it can't fully be explained in words, you just have to see it for yourself. You know, the characters do explain the words, but you're also kind of shown it, and it's like, oh my god, this series is... is the Metal Gear Solid is really something else, in terms of story. Like, Hideo Kojima, he is a fucking genius. And I I think I heard... I, I heard a lot that he wants to make films. So, with, with his with his new studio. And I, I did get Death Stranding, brand new and everything, and I like it so far. And that's quite a brain twist of a game so far, but I'm really liking it. And, um... I also heard that there's a Metal Gear Solid film being made, and that the person who's making it really respects the series. I The last I've heard of this was like years ago, though, so I have to check on that again if that's even a thing still. But with Hideo Kojima being an independent film, oh, I, I don't know if he can do anything about that, actually, because Konami, I forgot, they own the rights to this movie. But can Kojima? I, I, I'm going to look this up in a little bit after this video. So, guys, that's it from, from Metal Gear Solid. Don't buy these games new, actually, because I don't want... Do not support Konami. For, because and if you, if you don't know why I'm saying that, look look it up. It's there's whole debate between Hideo Kojima and Konami what happened in recent years, ever since 2014 to 15 till now, uh, and why he's his own independent game developer. But this is really and this is really the end of my video. If you want to check out the series, I would recommend playing Snake Eater first strongly. You can you can get it on Xbox 360. You can get it, I guess, through emulator if you have a decent enough computer. Uh, you know, emulator through uh, like through an Xbox 360 or PS3 emulator. You could get it through um, the the uh, through 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 PlayStation through PS3. I think it's on PlayStation uh, uh, now. I think it's called on the PS4. That subscription service they have. It might be. 
I think it's also an Xbox Game Pass, but I don't know for sure. Uh, you can get it on PS2, and you can get it on the 3DS. That's right. Oh, oh, you can even get it on the Vita. It is on the Vita. It's on the Vita, and it, and it, it is on the, on the Nintendo 3DS. I have both those devices, but you can't... Sega Gear is on a lot of different platforms. It is. So, that's... You know, it's not hard to find that game. It's not hard to start there. If you just... If you don't have a PlayStation console... You'll be okay if if you want to start with uh, with 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 Snake Eater. As long as you have like any other console that's you know ever since 2005 till now, you should be fine. As long as it's, it's if you just if you have something else besides a Nintendo Wii, I should say, or or Wii U, or even a Switch. Um, yeah, if if you have a 3DS, again, you'll be fine. If you have a Nintendo hardware. Okay, guys, I'm done with this video. Seriously, um, that's it. That's it for my first episode of, of where to start for gaming and why. And again, for gameplay elements, Sank Eater, it's a very fluid game. It's very easygoing. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 1 is also, also very fluid. They're, they're both really easygoing games, like in, in, in terms of gameplay. They're not cryptic. They're not too annoying. You, you have to backtrack quite a bit in this game. But this one, no. You don't have to really backtrack at all. You just keep going forward with, with this game story, and I love it, with this gameplay and everything. Uh, Metal Gear 1, the original though, again, that game is very cryptic, you have to look up a guide to play, it's like, it's like Zelda 1 basically, you know, The Legend of Zelda, the original, you have to have a map, you have to have something to help you out with that game, you have to have some kind of guide, so, that's it, so again, play Snake Eater if you haven't played the series before, uh, this is Hazuki Warrior 921 here, bringing you another exciting video on my channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. I don't know why I just patted my poor dog, because she's just chilling. All right, peace out. Bye. Have a good one. Take care.